two points. You've made a marvelous job of convincing me that most people were in the middle. So Peter Oliver, wherever he is, is smiling down upon us. <laughs> it is a small minority of agitators that took people who were perfectly happy living their normal lives, propelled them into this bloody revolution, which they really didn't want any part of. That's point one. Point two, um, if you look at Massachusetts, the soldiers and sailors, this huge 17 volume thing, you'll see most people who did fight in the revolution turned out very briefly. They turned out for a couple of weeks around Bunker Hill, or they turned out for a couple of weeks when Burgoyne showed up. In other words, they didn't want people who didn't look like them coming to their turf and telling them what to do. And when they got rid of them, they went back to doing what they were doing. Can I just say, I think, um, I'd love to see somebody really dig in more to the provisioning and the quotas to towns for blankets and stockings and all those things because I think they were reneging a bit on that as well. But it would be interesting to look. I mean, people didn't want to be taxed. Isn't that a bit what this war was about? 